Good morning. My name is Sheena Joy. Today is Tuesday, August 6th. I want to share a card I made for you this morning. Uh, it's a thank you card that I made for um, my aunt Gert and her partner Marlene. Uh, we recently stayed with them in Indian Island, New Brunswick. So I want to share the thank you card that I'm going to send to them. Um, I feel like I can post it today because I didn't tell either one of them about the blog or about my YouTube channel, so um, they may know later, but they won't see it before they get it. So, um, just going to go through the card with you and the materials that I used and the tec techniques, rather that I used. Okay, uh, as you can see, I did stamp. Kind of get in closer here. I did stamp a flower right here, uh, right on white cardstock. I used this um, Martha Stewart uh, ink pad set. I got this in Woodstock, New Brunswick about maybe almost a year ago and it's really lasted a long time. It's kind of got greens and blues and uh, variations of them and really pretty colors and they stamp really well. Um, I used this clear stamp set that I got at Michael's. I showed you in a previous video. It's uh, Recollections. And it has a floral theme. It has uh, some sentiments there as well. I didn't use those. But what I tried to use was um, the flowers. And it's really trendy right now to kind of layer colors and to build up. So I used a light blue in the background and kind of a more darker teal blue for the front. Um, so I used these two right here, this small one for the middle, and here in the corner, I used this uh, one in the corner for the larger background. So it turned out really well. I'm really pleased with the stamping. Uh, another thing that I used was on this background you see behind the stamped image, and I'll just bring it in a bit closer so you can see the texture. And it reminded me of a fiddlehead design when I bought it. Uh, fiddleheads are really important to our Maliseed culture, and that's using a cuddle bug embossing folder, which you use with a cuddle bug machine. I'll just move the camera around to go to the cuddle bug folder here uh, called Divine Swirl and I just put it back, uh, back in the package for easy storage and behind it you can see the cuddle bug machine right here and it just folds out and you put this on your plate and um, run it through. I'll actually do another video with uh, an embossing folder. You can see Ethan kind of getting into the camera here. He can't resist being in the kitchen with Mama. So, um, okay, getting back to the card over here. I also used a uh, turquoise ribbon here at the base of the stamped image. It's a beautiful turquoise. I've used this so much that this is actually my last piece. It's an offre uh, ribbon, and I find offre makes really good ribbons, and I like the ribbed ribbons in particular. You can't see that on the camera, but the ribbed ribbons make, um, they're easy to make bows with, basically. Uh, you can see below the bow, I did emboss, heat emboss, thank you, with the white embossing powder. It's a detail embossing powder from Recollections. And I'll just show you, if you haven't seen my other videos, uh, the stamp set. It's from Hero Arts. It's a clear stamp set. And here at the bottom, you can see it says thank you. And that's the sentiment that I used. Also, for the heat embossing, I did use the detail embossing powder in snow from Recollections and used for some mark, watermark stamp pad. It just, it's so amazing, it makes such a big difference. Uh, for stamping, for heat embossing, and for the color stamping, used an acrylic block.
Okay, and you can see for the card base, I used a um, a purple card base. That's really pretty. I had gotten that in press style. Uh, that's by American Crafts, and this uh, kind of deeper blue, it's uh, from Autumn Leaves. And I'll just show you the plain paper right here. This is the American Crafts purple card base, and just cut it to size. I use a standard size. It's called A2 standard size card size. It's uh, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And this is the autumn leaves. That's the solid piece, and just looks beautiful with that embossing folder. I just love that texture. Um, just a few little details here that I didn't share before. Well, actually, I did show you glue dots before. Uh, I was given a tip not to use regular adhesive on embossed paper. This texture um, is kind of hard to adhere to the card base with regular adhesive. So what I did was I put it on, oh, I have these upside down. I use these on uh, pop dots, and it also gives a dimension, so that's nice too. And when I adhere the stamp, or sorry, the stamped image to the textured paper, I use glue dots. So those are little tips um, for folding the card, for scoring it rather. I use my Martha Stewart mini scoreboard, which I still love. And for any paper cutting that I made, I used my favorite Fiskars <laughs> paper trimmer. You can see Isaac just going back and forth in the background. He's flying away with his trains. And so those are the materials that I used for this beautiful thank you card. I had a wonderful time. So thankful for the lobster, Marlene and Auntie Gert. And uh, I hope you both are well. And I hope everyone is well. And thank you for tuning in and watching my videos and reading my blog. Take care, everybody. Bye.